Good afternoon, dorks. How's it going? This is Unchatter. Hello, it's me. We're here to play more Dwarf Fortress. Surprise! If that's a surprise to you, uh, you're new. <laughs> There's something. Uh, we're this is what we do, and this is what we're gonna continue to do. Uh, so we're we're about to get into it real quick here. I uh, I don't like dawdling around too much uh, at the start here. Uh, our main project is moving magma with minecarts. That will be great fun. Uh, probably gonna kill some people today. That'll be cool. Uh, but I do want to take just a quick second to mention at the top of the stream that I'm not doing promotions. I'm doing the minimal advertisements. I, I and that's the way I want it. I don't want to do. I don't want to mess with it. Uh, so. Uh, in, in in lieu of that, today's episode is brought to you by the sun. Thank you, sun. The sun does a lot for us. Um, but also by you clicking the buttons, following, subscribing, telling people that you think might be enjoying of a chill, music-laden, dwarf fortressy stream. Just, just letting it be known that I exist. That's all I care about. That's all you gotta do to make me happy. And join the Discord in the discord uh but yeah that's and that's all i'm gonna say i'm gonna shut up about it uh so here we are we are down at the bottom of the world uh we've been messing with magma i'm gonna go ahead and unpause because i think our fortress is kind of on uh autopilot for the most part there's still some kinks we're working out but uh a lot of stuff is just kind of working these days which is which is very good um the main thing that we're building towards here is I want to have magma forges. We we spent 20 in-game years in this fortress and we haven't been using magma at all because it's so far down. We're down here at negative 111 and this is like the bottom of the world. This is as far down as you can go. Like we, we dug down a little bit further and this is like we can't dig further than this. 115. So yeah we're we're down here at the bottom. And we're on a tiny port, and I don't have much room to be putting down a million uh, water wheels or windmills or whatever, so we don't have access to much power. So instead of moving magma to our fortress with a pump stack and fiddling with all that, we're going to fiddle with minecarts instead. So last stream, I spent most of the stream getting this minecart track done and settled. Uh, so this is all this is all good to go now. Uh, we've we've done a test run of our of our minecart track, and it goes all the way up. It goes all the way up, um, all the way up into our fortress to right here. And we are going to fill four little pits with magma with our minecart. That's the goal for today. So we'll see we'll see how that goes. I was doing just a little bit of reading. Also, it's warm in here, and this cat is a thousand degrees. I, the, apparently, she was sleeping on a. She was sleeping on the magma. <laughs> Don't know why she's so warm right now. Anyway, um, people are getting stung by honeybees. We made a bunch more clothes. We've also recently doubled our population, so we're at 100. We were at 50 like a year ago in stream. Uh, so our population has recently doubled. And everything's fine. Everyone's fine with that. Nothing bad has happened. Um, oh, this minecart's just going to stay there. Or it should be... They should push it down there. And in theory, no one has a job to push it down. I want to kind of stay here until we're ready to, to use it. Or give it another test, at, uh, for that matter. So yeah, there's no, there's no depart condition there. Uh, so yeah, to that end, and she's and she's gone. Okay. Um, I was doing a little bit of reading about magma and minecarts and such. There isn't a whole lot of information on the wiki about what we're doing specifically. There is a tiny bit. Um, and one implication, not even implication. One thing it said was that you would need rollers to get your minecart up out of the magma after it's been filled. Uh, like our, our minecart is just gonna come careening down this ramp here. Uh, and this is gonna be a pool of magma, just one level deep. And then dunk down into the magma and fill itself. 
and then we want it to come back up out and then we'll push the minecart back up to the surface and then we'll we'll do that you know several times and then that will fill in our little pools that's the goal here um i was kind of hoping that a very fast minecart could just kind of careen in and fill itself the bag with magma and then pop back out on the other side uh but the the wiki said something about using power to get your minecart back out again. So, hey, a spinner has been possessed. Hooray. Um, and I don't know... I don't know. I kind of want to see. I want to... So I'm thinking... I was putting a track stop here just, in, just to keep it from going too fast, but now I'm thinking I want to go as fast as I can. Um, I think I want to... Fill this with magma and do a test run and see what happens. Uh, but because we are, you know, dealing with magma and such, I want to make sure that I have a way to undo that after the fact, in case it was a mistake. So, you know, uh, we're going to build ourselves a way to drain this, this little pond. That's my goal here. I think what we want to do... Something like... No, hold on. Hold on. Give me a moment to make sure I know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna... Everyone's sitting around waiting for me to tell them to do something, so everything I put down is going to be done immediately. Um, okay, so we can come... I'm just going to have the magma... have a little tunnel out here. Right, and then we could go like here. And I'm gonna make a little pump stack. Or not a pump stack, just a single pump. I'm gonna have a single pump. I want a single pump. So let's do... I mean, we could even do... Does that make more sense? Does it, does it matter? I mean, let's do that. So magma will flow to here. We will have a channel here. Is that smart? I mean, we don't have much room for anything else. We would channel here. And then we would have a pump here. And it would dump it back into the magma sea from there. Does it even work? Does it work that way? I mean, this is all like, this all refills itself, right? If I drop magma onto this... Hmm... I'm curious how that will work... Well, we're gonna find out, aren't we? Right? Because... We'll channel, so we'll, yeah, we'll pump from here and just dump it right in here. If I mean, I guess if we need to, we could just give ourselves a little overflow reservoir over here, right? Um, I'm going to channel here, but we're going to put down like a grate. Do I, I want a magma proof grate. What do we have? What do we have? Uh, if I go to construct grates, just to see what we have, rock salt, yeah. Um, let's build some magma-proof grates. We have some magma-proof rock. We just gotta use it. I want to say we are using mica. It's our most prevalent thing right now. We're gonna make some mica grates. And then we need enough stuff to make a single pump, a magma-safe pump. And this is going to be dwarf powered. What are you doing down here? Oh, you're taking out our, our truck stop. Thank you. Um. So a pump is a block, a pipe, and a corkscrew. Um, 
And like iron, iron, iron is magma proof, yes. Let me, let me pull this up before I do something terrible. Uh, magma proof. Magma smelter. No. Magma safe. Um, iron, nickel. Do we have nickel? Because I, I don't think you can make a, a pipe or a corkscrew out of stone. You could make it out of glass if we have sand, but we don't. Uh, so let's say... Let's say iron corkscrew. Iron pipe. And... Let's just make like... Three of each of these. Just in case, not too bad. And we would also want. I mean, if we need rollers, we're gonna need A, magma safe rollers, and B, a way to power them. I don't know the best way to... I mean, we're not going to be able to just route power from the surface all the way down here. That's not quite going to work. Um, and then we'll do this. Are you going to need rolling papers for your rollers? Possibly. Let's keep the paper away from all the magma, though. And let's keep our dwarves sober for messing with the magma. Maybe that's... That's a thing. Uh, this has been claimed by someone on a strange mood. Also, hi. Someone is... Someone claims to be, uh... Doing something here. Everyone else is working. Look at this. Everyone's doing my jobs. Just immediately. Look at this. I love it. I love it. Where is... Where is a laugh? Is that you? No. What? Nobody's throwing a tantrum? I know, right? I know, right? This fortress is ridiculous. Our waterfalls are working very, very well. We we just doubled our population. We're up to a hundred and no one is tantruming. We have a bunch of outsiders who are perfectly happy with what's going on here. Um, a laugh. Strange mood. There you are. You are hauling pig iron bars. Thanks. I wonder it's taking you so long. Well, we're also down to 12 frames a second. Why is that? What's going on here? Hmm. A giant Kia has stolen a wheelbarrow. That's what's happening. You're stealing my wheelbarrows? I need to, we should like enclose our little uh, refuse stockpile here, maybe. Okay, um, let's put our ranged dwarves on the walls. Apparently we're just gonna, we're in Kia season again. We've gone so long without having so many birds. And now they're just back again. Uh, so we'll station everyone outside until that's dealt with. What are you doing? Are you, you're bleeding. Someone, oh, there's someone. There you are. Thank you. Oh yeah, there's a dead bird. Here's one trying to come in. Are you crawling along the ground? No, you can fly. I guess. Huh? What's good? <laughs> Where are they? There's one. A giant Kia has stolen a. Uh, they're stealing my wheelbarrows! Why with the wheelbarrows? The bolts you can take, but leave the wheelbarrows. 
The wheelbarrows are how I deal with the Kia corpses. <laughs> Jeez. I'm curious why why they tank my FPS like this though. Cause they it wasn't like this before. We've been we've dealt with plenty of Kias. But they they didn't kill my frames before. Maybe just too many too many dwarves, too many things here. Kias are notoriously vandalous, apparently, yeah. Now, the, the image of a giant bird flying off with a wheelbarrow is pretty hilarious, though. Okay. Our strange mood dwarf has begun a construction. What's going on here? You are storing an item. You are storing an item. Okay. You're grabbing bolts. You're storing corpses. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, Kia Corpse in the Corpse Wheelbarrow. Excellent. Giant Kia Corpse. Giant Kia Mangled Guts. Giant Kia Corpse. Perfect. See, that's what the wheelbarrows are for. Uh, frames are creeping back up. Is that because we're... Yeah, look, and we're... We're shooting from the walls. Yeah, look at all that. That's so good. Our defenses work. And I try not to sound shocked every time, and yet, kind of am. Like, I'm not shocked that they're working. I'm shocked that they're working this well. Now you're all gonna go grab the corpses. Are there any more? Uh, we have a bunch of crundles. We have things in cages. We have one that's not in a cage. You can leave any time, no one's keeping you here. Come on. Dwarves just like swinging their axes wildly at the air. Get down here! I'm gonna just shoot it. Just shoot it. There we go. Dead? Dead. Yeah. Swoop on my hammer dwarves. See what that gets you. Actually, probably an axe, but still. So we're good. I think we're good. And we're instantly back at 50 frames a second. It's the Kias. The Kias eat the frames. They take my frames and my wheelbarrows. And this is still going to be assigned wheelbarrows, right? Now I just need to... Yeah, someone brought another one. Okay. Uh, crisis averted, I guess. And Alath has made a gum id. A quartzite ring. Cool. Let's go put that away. Assign. Got on rings. There's a quartzite, and there it is. Done. Okay. So that got dug. And then I wanted. Oh, that got cancelled because of Warmstone, which makes sense. Can you put a hatch on top of a grate? How does that work? Well, let's... No, not... not that. That.
Um. Oh, hey. Another Forgotten Beast. Uh, Astragogo. Gigantic feathered earthworm. Wings and has gaunt appearance. All of feathers, but where it's noxious creatures. Like, we already have a flying worm. Thank you very much. Uh, looks like we made our stuff. So let's see if we can make a pump. Uh, screw pump. I guess that needs to be done first. We're gonna do in this direction. I'm gonna select my materials. I want mica. What happened to my mica blocks? None of those are magma safe, are they? Oh uh, yeah. Someone cancel my my blocks. Probably just haven't shown up in the inventory yet. Yep. We're, we are smithing stuff, just, you know, without magma. Masterpiece Alpaca Bone Crown. Cool. I guess I'd have to put the crate down first, too, wouldn't I? Um. And then rollers. Do rollers just take mechanisms? Is that how that works? Do do, do machine rollers. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna go max speed. We're gonna start from the bottom of the ramp. No. Needs ground or near machine. Hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. Well, we could do like, what if we do this? We'll put something here. This is going to be a normal one. This will be marble, sure, whatever, on rope. We're going to have to make a magma proof chain. Uh, let's put our grate here. Mica grate. That'll keep us, keep things from sneaking in. Could have even done like a like pump through fortifications and then down through a grate. That could have been that would have been double safe. Um, but then okay, so once we've placed that, we could do rollers this way. Kind of like this. Needs ground or near machine. You have you have those things. There's a cat. Uh, and then we'll put a pump. A pump this way. From there to there. Uh, come on. I said mica block, didn't I? What happened to my mica blocks? Oh, and we're wa our waterfall's empty. No! Okay, let's fix that real quick. Someone. I can feel them getting grumpier. Still only at 40 frames. Interesting. One of these days I'm gonna turn on the multi-threading and see what happens. I've heard it's still it's a little crashy, is what I've heard. A little unstable. Um, so I'm kind of holding off until maybe we get another patch or two to to kind of smooth things out, but honestly. Uh Bronze spear has been misplaced. No, no doubt Irvad, ghostly scholar, is to blame. Okay. 
Another ghost, hooray. Oh, Irvad. Poor Irvad. Irvad is who we killed with a uh, <laughs> forgotten beast accident, a menagerie accident. Uh, so yeah, we'll put we'll put Irvad to rest. That's a good idea. It's gonna close any second now. There we go. Okay. Now we got some more water. Uh, Irvad, we need to put Irvad to rest. And then what? Where's my? Where's my mica blocks? I swear. Block. Mica. No? Did I do micro client instead of mica? Let's just do rock blocks. And I'm gonna be a work order. Nope, hold on. Hold on. Mica. We'll do I mean I really only need the one. Theory of the pipes and the stuff happened. I mean, everyone's already so good at moving all our junk out of the workshops now. That has not been the case historically. There we go. Microplane slab. And engraving to Irvad. There we go. Theory, someone is working on that. There, and there's like Micah right here, even. See? They're so efficient. Hello. Come on. <laughs> Hi. Would you like to be in a place? Instead of right in front of my face? Okay, I guess that's fine. Come here. Ooh. You have cooled down considerably. Surely someone is working on this. I claim someone is working on this. No. Is okay. Let's uh, let's put in our slab. We can do that. Slab. Microclimb Memorial. Meow. Meow. Uh, where's the person who's doing this? Construct building. Crafts, make mica blocks. You, you're just hauling it all the way from somewhere silly, aren't you? Okay, whatever. I was close to a waterfall. Uh, Urbat has been put to rest. Very good. Do you need a waterfall? Do you even have a waterfall? It doesn't make mist, but it makes a fountain. Does that count? Me. Uh, and I, I mean, we can make rollers, but then what do we do? I don't, I can't manually power rollers, right? 
Me. Dork. Okay, there we go. I'll get us a mica block at least, right? Um, I'm also curious if there's more doors we can place to help, uh... Break line of sight a little bit and uh, help our frame situation. I feel like that does. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I feel like that's been helpful. I've been pretty good about it though. Meow. Yeah. yeah, there's doors on all these places. Seems fine, right? Meow. Yes, I know you have opinions. What is that a statue of? Is that a statue of a whale? Of a sperm whale? Look at this. Look at this sprite! Oh my god. Well designed platinum statue of sperm whales. Cool. <laughs> and what's this? A oh, hydra? Wow. And a rat. Cool. Neat. Also, I know you can't hear it. At least I don't think you can. Yeah, there's... There is some bird outside. And it's been there for a week or two now. That is so loud. So loud. It's just out there screeching. And it's not like a pretty loud. It's just like... It's just screaming. It's very strange. We listen to it all day now. <laughs> this is our lives now. And we're saving. It is too warm to be covered in cat. I'm sorry to say. The restriction sounds like a Stellar's Jay. That could be. Do we have those around here? I never know what birds are local to work. I should use the bird app. There's, a, there's like, uh, there's bird apps that you can use to identify. Um, and this is all, the doors are good in here. This all seems fine. I think our fortress is just getting bigger. So much room for activities. Okay. So then obviously we'll need to recarve our... What you call it? Our ramps. But now we have a flat spot at least. Um, we should get rid of that ramp too. Not that it really matters. Uh, and then maybe we can make a pump. Screw pump. This way. Or no, now I need to need to be picky now. Select this way. Mica block. Now we have 25 mica blocks. Thank you. Uh, an iron corkscrew and an iron pipe section. Perfect. That's all we need. So we'll work on that. And that will be a way for a dwarf to sit there and drain the magma out of that little pool. Ideally, we wouldn't have to, but we can if we need to. Hi! Welcome! Who died? No one yet! We did kill a legendary door, a legendary miner last stream, though, with our, with this. There's a, there is a corpse in there, uh, but it's fine. <laughs> we're fine so far. Uh, we're gonna try to do some magma in here, though, so we'll see... We'll see what happens. Uh, okay, so now I want to do rollers. Rollers. 
this way, max speed. And we're allowed to start here this time. And I can go like that. And then I can use mica mechanism, and we don't have... Okay, we need to make an iron rope. Or a chain, I guess it would be called. Forge iron chain. Let's do three of those just for the sake of it. And then... And then what? What are you even down here for? Um, like I'm wondering, we could bring power to here, and then this roller would, you know, transfer power to here, and the, these three would be a single machine, so that would be fine, but how do I get power here? I'm assuming, I'm assuming, as a uh, pumps can be powered by either, you know, windmills and, and water wheels and such, but they can also be powered by a dwarf just standing there. But you can also take, like, make an axle and have power run from a pump. But I don't know if that, how does that work when it's a manually powered pump? Can I manually power a machine like that? I'm guessing not. That would, be, that would be counter to my understanding. Uh, we got rid of the ghost. Uh, stuff is happening. Stuff is happening. So many things are happening. Stray Peregrine Falcon has been missing for a week. Oh no. Get a bird, get a bird. done the thing. Let's try this again. Rollers this way. No, not not up top. Rollers. Mica iron. Okay. We can at least build that. Worst case scenario, we can try to power it from above after it's been made. Um, and someone's gonna work on that. Okay, so we'll give them a moment to do that at least. Hmm. I do hope that works. I hope we don't need to. I hope, I really hope that the minecart can just careen right through and we won't have to worry about it, but, you know, probably not that lucky. Or iron chain complete. Okay. We're also getting, I'm seeing all this equipment mix match. How are you all on your equipment? Uh, Shorast is wanting a male shirt? Or no, leather armor. Oh, do we just need to make more little armor? That's fine. That's easy. Let's make another ten leather armors. All the sparring is happening. We've recently expanded our our militia. Now we have some hammer dwarves in here now. Skilled hammer dwarf. Professional hammer door. Very nice. I like how our our legendary fighters are here doing drills, but they don't even have they have their weapons, they're not wielding them. I'm just standing there, hands empty. Okay. Um 
waterfalls are fine. A little low still, but they're they're going. People hanging out in the the vault. Listening to a story. Tell story. Why do I see them? Yeah, we'll see if that worked. <laughs> we'll see if my placement of that actually worked. It's showing up a little strange. Uh, and they're gonna have to haul all the stuff down here manually every time. Good up here. I could probably make another handful of wheelbarrows and be fine, right? We have a lot. We have quite a bit of wood at this point. Not that they need to be made out of wood, but that's definitely best in most circumstances, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll just do another ten and wheelbarrows. Crafting. Everyone's hanging out in our dining hall. Ruin. Ruin. We have so much food. We have so much food. Yeah, let's let's do a little bit more water here. I don't wanna. I want to run dry. So it's still warm. Why is it so warm? It's like it's August or something. It takes a minute. It takes them a minute. That's, that's too much water. Pull the lever, please. Please. Thank you. Now it's gonna take a second anyway. There we go. Okay. Hopefully that wasn't too much. This seems fine. There's two there. What I found is if there's too much water in the system, you get like a standing waterfall that people can drown in. Okay, I think we're okay. I think we're good. Okay, so this... See, that's not right. That's not right. Didn't end up on the bottom here. Is that just me being silly? Oh, uh, weird. It's 11,000 meat. How much... How much llama meat do we have? We have 2,000 llama meat. <laughs> a lot. That's a lot. This is a symbol. Thank you. Thank you. No. Did hear last week that some llamas get berserk llama syndrome and go to the burger factory? Really? Berserk llama syndrome. It 
Does it work that way? Why? Hmm. I not. I thought I could build rollers up ramps like that. I swear I've been able to before. Hmm. Is it because this is a funky ramp? That wouldn't make any sense. If you cuddle them too much when they are young, they can just go mad. What? No, mad from too many cuddles? That's not fair. Run around all day and attack humans. That's bizarre. Why... Why is cuddling bad? Uh, okay, so this got made. Comes from the west. I know, and they said I need said I needed more cuddles as a child. <laughs> yeah, that's so weird. Um. Okay, so we have our pump, so we can drain our magma out of here. Worst case scenario. I'm tempted to just try it. to just try it. So what else would I do? You could do... If you just had a single roller here... Was magma safe? Uh, mica iron, and then I could make a magma safe gear assembly here. And then I would just have another another one just sitting on top here above the magma, and this wouldn't have to be magma safe or anything. And then let's get rid of that one. And then we would just do a horizontal axle. Oh, uh, can I go over? Maybe I want to go up one. Let's do this. This, this, is, this might be silly. channel out the ceiling of our little chamber here. Uh, so then we'll put something up here, and then... I mean, in theory, we could even trans... If we, if we could transfer power off of a pump, we could do it like this. So too bad they aren't in line with each other. I have no idea, I have no idea. Um, yeah, so... I'm almost tempted, what if we try, let's, I wanna try something. I just wanna try to put a gear assembly here normal one okay so you're gonna build our, our rollers there or the that at least that's fine Micah's kind of a cool color I like this mica stuff
things happen quickly at least. Um, so let's do... Uh, this one's gonna be a bunch of bunch of mechanisms. And then we'll do one here. And then and then we would need a vertical axle here. Right? And that doesn't need to be magma proof because it's not in the magma, right? <laughs> Making assumptions here. Attributed 500 to more shinies. Excellent. I have, I have bought my next shinies. Um, I just have not. I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting for the goal to be met before I officially add it to my collection. Um, and yes, I will stretch. So now, this is a a 15 power machine. I'm curious if putting a dwarf on this pump will turn this mechanism. That's my that's my question here. These days, I will put a mic on my back as I as I pop it, so everyone can hear. <laughs> okay, so the pump is going uh, right, but the but this is not okay. So that is how that works. Got it. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I can't power from the pump, clearly. I need like a big hamster wheel. I need a big wheel that I can put a dwarf in just to add power to a system. Okay, well you can stop. You can just assemble that. Um, ASMR back popping stream? No. Nah, mm. Look elsewhere. <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, this is all at least one big machine, so I could I could power it after the after I flood it if I needed to. I just really don't want to. Okay, are we gonna do this? I think we're gonna do this. So all, all we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna pull this lever. It's gonna open the floodgate and do nothing because we haven't actually channeled out the thing. That's fine. That's fine. At least we know the floodgate works. Uh, we're gonna channel there, and that will actually allow the magma to come in. If we wanted to power it for real, we would have to we would have to make a vertical axle go from here all the way to the top. That'd be like 150 levels, like which we could do, but that's like 150 wood. That is important for things like barrels and stuff. Less important than it used to be. That's still a lot of wood. But that would also be a lot of power. Like, how much power does a vertical axle take? Axle. Uh, horizontal axle. Da -da. Axle consume one unit of power per tile. So yeah. So there would be another 150 power. Which is like half our total power. I mean, in theory, we could turn off our waterfalls and power this for a moment instead, because this is a temporary thing. It's not going to be running permanently. It would just be a bit more fiddly than I want it to be. Okay, so now we're, we're flooding. 
perfect. And our stuff isn't melting, right? Where does the waterfall power come from? We have a handful of um, windmills. Do 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 floor. And I'm just gonna pop some floor there. And then we should put down a, a grate there, just you know, for safety. You pump up through a grate? Is that how that works? I guess we'll find out. Oh my god, let's do that. Okay. Unpause. Okay. So we now have magma in our little pond. And we have we have rollers and they're not melting. We have a mechanism that's not melting. We have a floodgate that's not melting. All good stuff. So let's go ahead and close this. It doesn't need to be open permanently. What are you doing? You're making your making the floor. Oh, melted some diorite in there. That's fine. Okay, so now we just have a little pool of magma. Hooray! And then we could we could power it if we needed to. Hey look! Another forgotten beast. Oz Dunin Ugbagust, as does as does Gassier. A towering quadruped composed of mud. It has four long curved horns and it undulates rhythmically, but where it's deadly spittle. That is a nurgling. For sure. Uh, oh, and the beasts are just going to immediately fight. Excellent. Oh, that was quick. Wow. Uh, and the new one just died. The mud one just died immediately. Cool. Uh, this was a dinosaur. Who's forgetting all these beasts? <laughs> Everyone. I mean, the fact that the like we're in year 140, uh, and these things are always like 300, 400 years old. I I think it's more proper to say that they no one ever knew about them to start with. Um. Okay. So this is fine. I guess we're gonna try. Are we gonna try it? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it and have ho low hopes. Lower your expectations. And we're gonna come down here. This. Okay. So here's our minecart. And I'm also gonna turn on civilian alert so that no one's in our tunnels while we try this. And then we come into our hauling menu. Beyond time, yes. Beyond time and space. Uh, add a push west immediately always. Uh, nope, that's not what I meant. I meant to follow the minecart, not disassemble the track stop. Thank you. Um, but yeah, now we'll we'll see what happens. Let's give it a push and and I can get there, right? Yeah. Cross your fingers. Cross your fingers that we don't have to route power all the way down there. Considering that was like half of what I was trying to avoid with this anyway. Look at all those masterpieces, masterpiece bone things. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Who's, who's coming to push my thing? Is anyone coming? Someone's coming. Allegedly. I've already gone through my whole water almost. I should get a bigger water bottle. Hello? Someone? Someone push my cart. Everyone is drinking. Holy cow. 
Holy cow. Defend. Listen to story. Meditate on travelers. Interesting. Praying, praying. Reading, socializing. No? No one's on their way to push my minecart? Because the item is tagged by a task and will not be used by the task. Okay. Tagged by a task, but no one's taken the task. Right? Because task, eat, uh, store item in location. Interesting. Instruct. What is that for? I don't know where that is. Uh, push track vehicle. Yeah, no one's assigned to it. I need to... There you go. They don't like the civilian alert. That's very strange. There we go. Minecart! Minecart! So I know that it can get to the bottom. I'm really, really, we're just seeing what happens when it interacts with the magma at the bottom. Does it come back out of the pool, or does it just get stuck down there? Hmm. A child has been possessed. Oh, come on. Follow. Oh, come on, why? Why you refuse to follow? There we go. Here it comes. Final stretch. This is such a long track. Good music for going down. Long track. Here we go. And whoop. Oh. Oh, did it just skip right across? Oh, hmm. We did build a roller coaster, and it's quite the mo quite the roller coaster, quite the uh, photo finish at the end too. It just went right across. It was too fast to go down. Oh, okay. What if? Could I put a wall here? Hmm. Uh, let's go back into our, well here, clear civilian alert, and then I'll go back into our falling thing, and I'll remove the push. So hopefully they'll, they'll go reset that at the top. What if I put a wall here so that it had to like, had to go down, but then it would lose all its speed? Is that what's happening here? If it's slow enough to go into the pool, then it's too fast, or that it's, it's too slow to come back out. Maybe that's what's happening. Okay. I have one thing I want to try. If that's the case, let's do a... Do a temporary floor. Does that... I wonder if that breaks things. Uh, we'll do a temporary floor there. And then I'm going to put a wall right here. No access. Okay. I have to wait for them to build the floor first. Uh, Doosim is building something for us. Okay. So it just got placed there. That's where it belongs. Then someone's going to push it all the way back up and then they'll reset it and they'll wait for me to tell them to push it again and that will be fine. But if we want, if we had to route power, it would be... Or what if, ooh, ooh, oh, oh, I had an idea. I had an idea. We have, we have an amount of water here. This is the very bottom of cave three. What if we routed some of this lake into a channel, kind of like we did in our last fortress? and build like an artificial river and put a water wheel on it. Like we would need, how much does a water wheel do? We would seriously need like two water wheels if we do it from here. 
generates 90 net power. Yeah. That'd be plenty. Could probably do it with one. We could do... Hmm, okay. If we need power, then that's what we'll do. Because that only has to go... Okay. Dwarven Child has created... Gathilidil. A Lignite Earring. Okay. So that got made, so let's go ahead and put a wall here. Doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, let's go place our new earring in the vault. Water wheel, water wheel! Yeah, we've gone, we've gone this whole time without a water wheel in this fortress. It's all been wind, windmills. An earring? It was an earring, right? Earrings. Lignite. Gathilidil. That's a good name. That's a properly fantasy sounding name, I think. What are you all doing? Socializing? Reciting poetry? Uh, okay, so. That means I might even leave this little bog leg in here to just make sure things don't deconstruct down into the, <laughs> the magma. That would be unfortunate. Uh, but then we would do yeah, let's do let's do some blueprints. A little channel like this. This will be our vertical axle. And then we would just do. This. Not that wouldn't be a channel. It would be. This is the the level of yeah okay. So we would channel from here. We would do like this. To the edge. And then we would also channel here. And then that would be for an axle. And then. Here's our actual stairwell. That wouldn't be too bad, right? We would have to... We'll do the same thing as with our magma. We'll put in like, um... We'll put in some floodgates and fortifications. They don't need to be magma safe, obviously, but we'll... We'll make sure that the water is coming through fortifications so that we don't let beasts in. And we'll put in some floodgates so we can turn off the water uh, when we want to, because this is because we don't need to power this permanently. But, I mean, here we could do uh, like each one's one by three, so we could do one, two. We could do four water wheels right there, and that'd be overkill. That would be plenty. Um, I'm kind of anticipating needing to do this. So let's go ahead and get this dug. Might as well get them working on it. Is that what I think it is? That's a oh, there's a vault there. Mm -hmm. I haven't been looking for vaults, have I? Hmm. Kind of not been not been hunting in the caves in this fortress. And then we would do, let's do it like this. Let's do stairs. I'm not erasing. Like that, that's good. It won't. The stairwell won't connect there, but that's fine. Okay, so we have a wall here. So let's uh, get rid of this. Oh, we get this way. Whatever. No, not. There. 
Get rid of the floor. So what's going to happen here is the minecart is going to come screaming down that ramp. It's going to skip over this first tile of magma, hit the wall, fall into the magma, roll down the ramp, and then just settle at the bottom with no speed. Because it'll lose all its speed when it hits this wall? Is that how that works? But then we'll have this we'll have this roller down there that we're gonna we're gonna have to power it almost almost guaranteed. But we'll get this going. Yeah, they're working on digging it already. It's fine. Look, we're we're back at fifty. I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> We're almost through all of our fish. We haven't been c catching fish, like, for years. Years and years. Um, but yeah. Oh, we're paused. Why are we paused? Let's not pause. Um, and then we're... A little platform for ourselves there. All this ortho place, more more magma fruit stuff. Hooray! Okay, that'll take someone a second, I guess. This is all... I mean, yeah, it is all the same machine. 18 power. 18 power, yeah, okay. Building machines that are partially submerged in magma feels very wrong. <laughs> and yet, it's exactly what we need right here, isn't it? Everyone else up to you're all socializing. We sh our our fortress is all smooth now, right? We're holding to smooth basically everything at this point. Have we ever we placed our. Do we have another ghost that I forgot about? I feel like there was a second ghost. Uh, oh, but if we've seen a ghost, it'll show up here. Uh, we, have our, we have those two undead things. I don't... Uh, Crundles, Kias... A... A owl. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a ghost I'm forgetting about. Uh, we have a bunch more marble. We're getting through our, our wool. Those things are... I mean, things are going. Things are working. Uh, in theory, we're dying. Yeah. All this stuff can't go anywhere. Hmm. Tempted to dump it? Because it's all just going to sit in there and make this shop work less efficiently. And there's nowhere for it to go. Hmm. Another one. Another one. So. So shush. Gonna run der. Ghetto. Ghetto. Ghetto Nunir. A giant quadruped composed of snow. Okay. We're getting all the wimpy ones now. You're in cave one. I don't think there's anything in here to contest you right now. There might be some rat people in here. I guess we'll see. Snowman? <laughs> snow beast! 
It's gone. Rodent man, there's there's more rodent men in here. We should deal with that. Rodent man, spear man, punches a forgotten beast in the upper body. Wow. Okay. That was quick. This that that's that's a dead that's a that's a dead snowball. <laughs> uh, but that means we have more rat people in here. Uh, let's do let's take our our guards, our little uh, Mark Dwarf squad, and we can say defend K1 Gatehouse. Confirm. We can do two things at once, right? We need to turn on the civilian alert so that people don't go in here. That's also fine. Here they come. Let's do civilian alert. And pull the lever. These, uh... The weapon traps will probably deal enough to take care of any, any rat people in there, but we'll have some some people on hand, just in case. Oh, rat people. I know you're in there. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe they don't care. Oh, there they are. Here they are! There are definitely rat people in there. Yep, there's one. There's a dead one. There, yep. Uh, yep, yep. <laughs> here they are! Okay, there are a bunch of rat people in here. wonder if that's where our frames are going. Look at this. Uh, I'm gonna take our melee squad and station them, like, on the stairwell. Just in case. Our weapon traps are doing pretty good, though. Ooh. Oh, you went in. You went right around the cage trap and went inside the fortifications. Uh, terrified while in conflict. Are you the one that's murdered a... No, okay, good. Uh, good luck, soldiers. You should kill it. We should definitely kill it. There, thank you. <laughs> now the melee gorge show up. Okay. That was quite a few all at once. Is there are there more in there, I wonder? Where, what are you doing? Go to sparring match. Ma'am. No. Okay. You're stationing there. That's not where I asked you to station. I guess it technically is. See, they don't care about the walls and stuff. I told them to station here, so they say, okay, we'll guard this area. Sotek is pleased. Excellent. Quick question for Sotek. Can you exang exanguinate the rats? Uh... Maybe? I'm gonna say there's, I'm gonna say we're good. They don't seem to be loading in anymore. Uh, well, yeah, let's just lock the door and then clear the civilian alert, and then everyone can come take out this trash. So I'm sure we got a bunch of people sitting around doing nothing. What are you doing cleaning? You're cleaning, really? Okay, I guess that's fair. Yeah, now they're just gonna take care of it. Excellent. Y'all had shields and stuff and spears? Wow. Well, they're dead now. Okay, so this got taken care of. 
I'm gonna try it again, I guess. It's here. So, uh, go back to our hauling. Let's see. Add. Push. West. Always. Done. I'd love to just trust that people aren't hanging out in the tunnels. But I don't trust that at all. Okay, attempt number two. Do you think this will work? Place your bets now. Or in the next two minutes as we watch this thing careen down the tunnels. Okay, we're saving. But now I won't be upset if this doesn't work because because I think we have a plan for getting power there with the water wheels. I think that will work. I'll be a lot better than trying to route power from the surface. Only got another 100 level to go down, jeez. I still can't get over how how tall Cave 3 is. Like, this is all Cave 3. Just a gigantic vertical shaft. There we go. And... Doop. Okay, so there we go. Now it's resting at the bottom. Uh, but we have a minecart that is filled with magma. That's what that's supposed to look like. Now it's just sitting at the bottom of this pool, which we also kind of expected. So now we just need to get it out. Um, and they'll <laughs> need to come back in here and dig. That's fine, though. I'll let them dig all that first. Uh, but we can place axles. That's easy enough. And I'll take them a bit to haul his stuff down. Select closest, that's fine. So one. I just, I don't, yeah, use closest. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Or no, not there. So twelve axles instead of 150. I feel like that's an improvement. Uh, and then we'll have a gear assembly right here. And then we'll connect it right up to the water wheels right over here. And uh, while they dig that, I'm going to go to the restroom. I will be right back.
See how quick that was? They're already done. Perfect. Okay, and all this got done. See how fast they are? My god. So now this vertical axle system is only 34. We could power this with a single water wheel. Uh, so that's, that's neat. Let's go ahead and remove... I do want to remove some of these ramps. because uh, we're gonna have to carve on this side too to let the water out. Realistically. We only need the one ramp to get in and out. Uh, but we're gonna build fortifications and then make floodgates. That's where we're going with this. So let's do, uh, I guess we'll select, but it doesn't matter. Diorite is right here. Actually, our access we'll put on this other side. Uh, let's do. We're gonna do three. One, two, three. Human caravan. Okay, five. Three. Or no, we'll just do. We'll do two here. What that? even do like a like a floor do like a catwalk right so it's gonna be <laughs> just changing my mind all the time like that Water wheels. One right here. A bloodthorn water wheel. Excellent. Then with the other one, how about how about spore tree? Those are two two cool trees. There we go. the smooth okay cool well I can let them work on that uh, please bring me more wood apparently I'm using it do I care about anything else I've been trying to import some instruments not that I've not succeeded. We have a lot of instruments now. Uh, request. And move goods. And we won't be able to do all of our figurines like usual, but that's fine. That's all good to trade. That's all good to go. Um, this is mostly good to go. I wish I could sort by stockpile. I wish I could just look at all the twins that are in a single stockpile. Oh, that's small, but all trade goods. This is, that's fine. Just be selective about what actually goes in. This is just all figurines. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's fine. Look all that good. Uh, 
And we're still dying. Bread. Very good. That's, an, that's a task I want them to work through. Just discovered Frank, Frank opened a plastic box and extracted a bag of dreamies and ate the whole packet. Dreamies? Is that like a snack? Or is that is that cat food or human food? Our cats would be more interested in the bag. <laughs> they just love licking bags. Cat food, yeah. My little treats, yeah, that makes sense. We finally found a treat that Jezebel likes, like a like a hairball treat. Moma's reelected. Okay. Like she's usually not treat motivated at all. Uh, okay, so that got smooth. So now we want it to be fortifications here, and that will let water out. Our miners are having a hard time getting down here. Can't find a cat more treat motivated than Frank. Interesting. Yeah, Jezebel is like the least food mo food motivated cat I've seen. Like she likes food. She demands to have food. But like she cares more about having access to food than like you actually feeding her or actually eating the food. She needs to have access to the food. She doesn't want to eat the food. Okay, that all happened. Does this even matter? Let's... No, that's not what I meant. Just do that. Um, it'll be a, 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 tra a trough, whatever. We want to make... Ludgates. Locked this location? Is it because of the ramps? Okay. the trade. Trade. So I want all the wood. All right, let's, let's see what we're what we're working with here. Because I can do this. Just deselect the things I want to keep, right? That just... That's just a small bin. Uh, so not the figurines. Uh, worn pants are fine. Uh, worn stuff. See, that's just a normal pigtail sock. You can keep the sock. Uh, trousers, quivers, water skins. Yeah, keep those. That, I mean, look, those are just good, good pants that no one has worn. That sock and that sock. And the figurines. Quivers, rope. Uh, that's fine. Keep the water skins. I really wish they weren't all kept together, but whatever. Figurine. I think there's gonna be plenty to get a handful of uh, instruments. Yeah, and there, and there, yeah. Five thousand, that seems fine. We can get a knock pair. Whatever that means. Weapons and such. And sand. Oh, that's right. I did ask for sand, didn't I? At least we'll have access to some sand. What a smart thing. Some big gems. Some fish. Thread. 
a decorated carving fork. Okay. And then you just don't, you don't have any instruments. Fine, whatever. I'm gonna give you a bunch of extra stuff just to get rid of my stuff. Yeah, no one requested. We're good. We're good. You're good. And this is all, yeah, 39. And we're gonna get like 180 out of these two. That's ridiculous. Water wheels are so, are so powerful. Like, to, just to, just for comparison, here's our windmills. Okay, nighty night. Have a good, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. We have 16 windmills that are giving us 320 power total. We're gonna put in two water wheels and get 180 power. Ridiculous. Are you stuck in a tree? Oh, okay, good. Powerful IRL too. That's very true. Water wheels are very powerful. I don't know if they're five times more powerful than a windmill, but you know. Is someone gonna do this? Can someone please do this? Do I care? I mean, I do kind of want to be able to turn it off. Can I just do a... can I do a gate? Like a bridge gate? It needs to be anchored on edge. Still, so we, I know I killed. A, I know I killed a legendary uh, miner last stream. We do still have three. I guess we can start training you up, right? I know you don't. I know you're all just hanging out up there. Look at this. Look at this. We don't even have a single person who's just fine. Everyone is at least a little bit happy. Bonkers. 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 This is literally all I'm waiting on at this point. I would love for you to finish. There's our our spore tree water wheel. Come on. Sending my thoughts up to the surface. The depths call to you, you must mine. at with our Forgotten Beast now. We had so many come and go. We should get rid of our birds someday too. Uh, Sodor is stuck. Abaku was our web maker. And everyone else is in our menagerie. There's... What happened to that other one? Shouldn't there be another? You. Interesting that they show up in different places. This is the only one. Playful froths, the sprayed plagues. Are you? Who are you fighting? You're just bleeding. Annoyed after sleeping in the grass. Interesting. Probably not even gonna bother catching that one if it's just that injured after fighting a mud ball okay yeah come on you can do it and both of our things are done Ugh. do you okay good 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 okay that's all we needed let's do floodgates here 
out of rock salt, that's fine. Don't gotta be fancy. And then we need to, if we make those and then hook them up, we're good. That's all, that's all we gotta do. It's turned out way simpler than I was fearing. So long as that, though, that one roller can actually get us out of here. There's a little minecart still there, good. Excited to see if this is gonna be a, a solution to our problems. I've never done it this way before. Waiting, waiting, okay. I am curious. So I haven't been using the auto clothing, uh, but if you run it without telling it to do anything, it will tell you. We have 54 dwarves who need new body wear, but we also have, see we're running low. We have 17 body wear, everything else we're fine on. So let's make like, the body wear. That's what we need. That was my question. That's the answer. Let's do yarn robe. Yarn vest. We can do silk robe. Silk vest. And I'm going to come back into our standing orders and tell them to use only dyed cloth. So now we'll have 40 more bodywear items, and they will be good. I imagine most of the people who need things are our new citizens. these two. Let's do this. Now I'm... Depending, we have a Forgotten Beast here, but we've tried to get... We've tried to let this one in. We've tried to let it in through our beast ways, and it didn't want to move. So it is either stuck there and everything is safe, or it's messing with us and it's about to murder us. Let's station our dwarf down here just in case. I would love my miners to come down and do what I tell them to. Harvesting plants. We don't need... We are so okay on plants. They're probably harvesting uh, dimple dye, but you know. Now we could do this. We could say, you only do your jobs. I'll help them focus a little bit. Here they come. Stuck. Oh no, that's a soldier. Okay. The soldiers are showing up. 
just fine. That's good, at least. Someone in here, what are you wearing? Rith. Copper mail shirt. I guess that's all you're missing. Here's a miner. Okay. Now keep an eye on Sodor over here. Immediately close this with a wall, just like this. That will give us room to channel our thing in safety. And now we just need to make sure those walls get made before something creeps in. It seems like it's okay. I feel like if it could get to us, it would have before. not gonna risk it. I am gonna keep an eye on it. Keep our, keep our soldiers down here until it's actually sealed off. Oh, we can even see the walls down here. Mm, waiting, waiting, waiting. So, look, the people are working on them. Construct. Construct. Oh, also the floodgates, of course. Okay, nearly there. Just taking stone, okay. <laughs> what was that that was so important? Your magnetite, okay, I guess. I guess the ore has a place to go. I mean, someone has left their hood down there. And you're gonna make our building, okay, perfect. And yeah, okay. So now we're closed off again. Good. Sodor is not is not any the wiser that there was an opening for just a minute there. Uh, so we have one of our floodgates. And go ahead and hook that up to something. We have so many. This is. Minecart power river gate. Let me link that to here. And then are you you're hauling our other floodgate? And that's literally all that we need. In theory, that's going to be what makes this work. Perfect. Link to there. In theory, that's all we need to do, right? Once those are hooked up, then we're good. Our clothing getting made? Not quite.
Am I? Yeah, that's fine. No, I still don't have a hammer. Oh, messengers. I've learned about messengers recently. I don't know that we have a need, one, need for one right now, but, you know. Apparently, uh, you go to the world map. Sometimes your your fortress will have holdings, and those just happen on their own. What's that, Brian? Um, so like our our capital down here has some has some holdings. Uh, this is a hillux, and that's associated with our capital. Um, but apparently, you can use a messenger to request people who are in your off-site holdings to come to your fortress. I've literally never done that before. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, are we still engraving? Is this all, all our engraving got done? Um, we can start engraving all of our... Guild halls and such, I do kind of want to make sure those aren't, you know, bad engravings. What if we do... We can engrave the bedrooms. Those don't need to be amazing engravings. Get some good practice in there. Uh, yeah, just engrave this whole situation here. So those all of our, those are blah. Those are all of our original bedrooms. Where's our minecart? Oh, it's down at the bottom. Duh. I know where it is. Uh, but then we can also engrave all of our new bedrooms, including the the hallways. All of this. This, that's fine. This is gonna take them quite a while to engrave, but that'll be like, once they get through that, they will be very good engravers. select to do this and see one of our miners is an engraver too. I want you. Our, our miners can go back to doing whatever. Like hammer door if we can't lock to it. Miner we shouldn't. Well we could. You're skilled. And you're novice but you're also in. Why are the why are all of our useful engraver people in the military? That's what I want to know. Okay. Has the thing happened? Not yet. Almost. Very nearly. So we'll channel these and then we'll just put floor back over them. Be good. Bushrear has become a hammer lord. We have a hammer lord. We had nothing but hammer novices like two streams ago. That's exciting. Oh, 
Okay, okay, okay. Right, because this whole thing only needs 60. Wow. Yay, okay. I think that means it's got it's done. Okay. We're ready. Let's do the thing. Let's mine out these two. And we'll have to pull the lever to actually open. I'll wait till they're both dug to do that. Walk all the way down. Really, the reason why we're moving magma up is because it takes so long to walk this vertical distance. We're having to traverse it a bunch of times to get all this done, but once it's done, the magma will be upstairs and we won't have to come back down here for it. Cool. And then you have to find the floor here. I'm just gonna do it. Good. Perfect. And then get that one while you're there, please. Thank you. And then if you wanna, you know, make the last four, that would make me quite happy. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So now, let's pull this lever. And see what happens. Yeah. Water flows. Water wheels. Alright. Uh, right for a second. There we go. It just needs it just needs a proper height, right? Hopefully there's enough flow here. That seems to be working intermittently. Has our has our minecart come out yet? What is what's going on with our minecart here? Oop. Oh really? It's not gonna have enough power to get out? Hmm. <laughs> really? We need rollers on the ramp. Okay, fine. Well, let's. <laughs> At that point, we do need to drain our little pond here. Guess we could also hook this up to power. Oh my god. Another forgotten beast. Luzlem. A gigantic iguanodont with it lidless eyes. Four short horns, bloated body. White scales are small and set far apart for where it's deadly blood. Okay. My goodness. Where, where are you even? You're in cave one. You're gonna get owned by rat people too. I don't see a combat log yet. Where are you? There you are. Do you think there's more rat people in here? Becky. No, not. 
the puzzling. <laughs> Okay. Well, you just sit in here and keep our rat population down. That would be appreciated. Um, and then realistically, we could just power this. If I go unlock this. Uh, but yeah, okay, cool. Pumping. Pumping. Oh, that's not too bad. That won't take too long. Perfect. And it just goes right back into the sea. Flawless. Perfect. Okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. And of course... Like, it's all going to go down to depth one, and then we have to wait for it to dry out. That's the thing. Hmm. Because you can't pump depth one. Is that what's going on? Yeah, whatever. Okay, you can stop. We're just going to have to wait for it. Let's see our... Where's our minecart? Where's our minecart? Where's our minecart? Someone... Push track vehicle. So it got out. Or no, you... You don't currently have it. I don't always do things the most efficient way. Now you tell me. Why? Did it got shot up here? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, hold on. Where is the minecart? That's my question. It's a, it's a tool? Iron minecart. It's just, it's invisible. It's invisible. <laughs> okay. So the rollers were able to push it up out of the pool once the once it had drained down a little bit, I guess. And that's not what I meant. Okay. Um. Okay. So let's do do a gear assembly here, and then a axle here. And then we'll hook this mechanism up to another lever. Yet yeah, another lever. So we'll be able to just pull a lever and drain our little pool here, at least to this level. Hmm. I want, I mean, I want it to work without. I want to be able to put, I won't be able to test anything while the magma's still there. So we have to wait for it to dry out a bit. near machine but you have a near machine it's right there if I had I'm not gonna be able to place a gear assembly either yeah okay well, let's wait for that to to deal with itself we have a second hammer lord hammer lords excellent Indoc has withdrawn from society. Oh, 
we're still dying cloth. Very good, very good, very good. Um, so in theory, a mine cart full of magma is being pushed up this route, and someone's gonna push it to here, and it's gonna dump in. And the real trick with this is doing it fast enough that it doesn't evaporate out of these pools. Because any tile that has only one depth, like depth number one of a fluid, either magma or water, will evaporate over time. So we need to get, you know, five in here. There we go. Each minecart carries two. And you just, you just dropped your, <laughs> dropped your thing on the way. That's cool. So that means we need to make like three trips before this dries out. So someone's going to push this. It's not going to work right now. Actually, I don't want... Or do I care? That was probably too late. <laughs> um, they're going to push that down. But it's going to take a second for me to get this figured out. Of course, it's just going to... It's gonna come screaming down and it's gonna, like now it's gonna be able to come through. <laughs> it's on its way, I swear. It's, it's gonna take so long. Mm -hmm. Blam. Cool. And then, yeah, it came out. It doesn't have any magma. Okay, someone, someone push it back up and then leave it up there. Just remove this again. They'll, they'll push back up, that's fine. Then we're just waiting for this to dry, and we want to link that. So let's let's do that. Uh, so this is land cart, or this is gonna be magma. Rain fun. Okay. That links to here. My goodness. But once I, I mean, this is a learning experience. This is the first time I've done this, so. Kind of like once you've done it once, you kind of understand it. So I learned a lot in the last several streams about a lot of things. Minecarts in general. I've never really used minecarts until this fortress. So all of the minecarts we see in this fortress are kind of a new thing for me. It's just, it's just going to take its sweet time. In our, our frames, why? Oh, why? Should I build a little pen to protect my uh, my wheelbarrows here? I would, I would, I would. Look at all these trees. Oh my god. I'm surprised we haven't had goblins today. we go okay so that's that's one tile or does it go this way at max speed yeah can we just 
I just place one. Uh, I want mica and iron. Curious if that's all we need. If it, if it, a, if it receives power from this roller, and b, if that's enough to get it out. Hopefully that, hopefully that fixes us. Because rollers should be able to transmit power. At least the, the single tile ones can transmit power in that direction. The longer ones can only transmit power perpendicularly. Indoc is building something for us. Made a whole bunch of... Uh, we made all of our clothing. Very good. Very, very good. Everyone just gets stung by honeybees all the time. <laughs> Endoc has created... Tesco... Tescom... Tescom Mammoth. It's an ethylicid. Mica earring. Cool. Mica earring, you say. This has something on it. Some of these things are just invisible. Oh no, that one doesn't have anything on it. Look at all of our artifacts. Our vault is looking quite nice. Uh, that was an earring. Yes. More earrings. Are. Like that has an invisible thing. This has an invisible thing. This has an invisible thing. What the? Which one did I just say? Whatever. I don't know what's going on anymore. So, did this get linked? This got linked. I'm gonna... I'm gonna pull this lever so that we're not unintentionally... ...draining. And this is still... Our water power is not being very consistent, is it? Probably made them too close to the edge. Because there needs to be a certain depth for them to work. So maybe I want to build them up here instead. Let's let's do that. Let's let's revise this. I want it to work consistently when I do want to use it. Uh, so we'll remove this one. And then we'll place them like that. We could do these three tiles. We could do one, two, three, and that's staying at a, at a better depth, I think, being more consistent. Ghostly planter can be heard howling throughout the fortress. Okay, um, we're gonna do a a machine. We're gonna do a gear a gear assembly. Here. We'll have to move our floors, obviously. Yeah, do that. And then let's carve a slab. Yet another slab. Who was it? Arab? Post now, please. Okay. I'll let them work on that real quick, and I'm going to be right back one second.
I'm back. I have returned. I assume they carved me a thing. Yes, they have. So let's let's place the thing. Um, it's a furniture. It's a slab. There we go. Put Arab to rest, please. So that got done. Okay, still waiting on that to be made, but that's fine. Someone's someone's working on it, I guess. That's disconnected now. Okay, cool. So we move, move that one. Of course, the wood ended up in the water. Whatever. Ghostly plant was put to rest. Assembly there. Yeah. We could close this for now, anyway. Did that get made? Cool, and it's connected. 39, 39. If that don't work, then I don't know. Rollers on the ramp should be able to get you up that ramp, right? Right? Okay. Grabbing my logs. Okay. Hey, we're saving! Hooray! I will complete this today. That is my determination. We will have magma upstairs. I guess we we have already gotten a tiny bit of magma upstairs. I will have a sustainable amount of magma upstairs. That is my goal. everything. Fath. I've seen Fath get hung up on equipment a handful of times. What are your details? Hello! Bug, I have to go to work in a few minutes, so I, I'd much rather hang out and chill. I know, right? I know that feeling. Um... Yeah, I mean, leave if you gotta, but, um, I mean, all the VODs go up on YouTube. Um, it's not quite the same, it's not quite hanging out in the same way, but it's definitely chill. Or just, you know, run Twitch in your, on your phone in your pocket. <laughs> Been lurking for like an hour, so I thought it's a big goodbye. Yeah, cool. I mean, yeah, uh, thanks for, thanks for tuning in, thanks for saying hi. Um, yeah, no worries that you gotta leave, but... I'm glad that you were able to come by and enjoy. So, 
I, I'll be back on Thursday. I'll see you, see you soon, maybe. Um, water wheels, that's what I'm doing. Sibrick has been found dead. Excuse me. Excuse me. Who are you and why are you here? You are not one of our menagerie beasts. Subtle Dungeons the Puzzling. I am quite puzzled. Where's our, our menagerie? Our menagerie's here. Everyone's here. See you soon. Love watching your streams. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'll be here. See you soon. I am quite perplexed, though. Uh... <laughs> Our doctor is... Oh, gosh. Okay, well, first of all, before we... First priority is to deal with the thing, obviously. Uh, but, like... For real, were you were you from Cave One? Cave One is still closed, as far as I know. And cave Two is closed, and Cave Three is closed, and the other door in Cave Three is closed. And but you, I mean. The door isn't. The, this isn't raised, but there's a there's a locked door here. Couldn't you can't just sneak through there, right? Otherwise, we'd be swarming with rat people. There is a way into our fortress that I'm not aware of. That's scary. What does that mean? Okay, so right now it's here. Could it have come up for a drain? That doesn't make any sense. These is this is closed. I mean, where's the corpse? So it killed someone here. So this, I mean, this is our... That's closed. Well, that's terrifying. I legitimately have no idea how this forgotten beast got into our fortress. Zora dear. Okay, um I would like to I mean where are you gonna go? Did he swim? He should there shouldn't be anything to swim through. Uh, the only times I've also hi. The only things like the water goes through fortifications to get anywhere. Um There shouldn't be anything, like, even swimmers could, shouldn't be able to get in because of, like, fortifications and stuff. Uh, I want to see which way it's going. We're going to do some step-by-step some -step action here. I want to see if I can get it behind a door or something. You're just going to be, who are you fighting here? Vukar Doctor? Poor Doctor. Now, where are you? Traitor? Water can push things through fortifications. Hmm. But I didn't think...
I didn't think this beast was in a thing that I even had open in that sense. Unless I just didn't know which... where it was. very concerning. These are all just civilians attacking. No, they're not dead yet. Where's our... Here's a soldier. Spearmaster is on his way. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to... We're just gonna have to pray that our military is up to the task here. They're, they're here now. They're fighting. Okay. <sighs> Only one casualty. At least so far. I don't know if anyone's been super injured. Uh, healthy, healthy, seriously injured. Our doctor has been seriously injured. Great. And then Logum is injured and Cattle is injured. We, how's our doctors? So Vukar isn't even our, our chief medical dwarf. So that's good. Hopefully we can get to a hospital, or to that hospital, rather. Okay, well that was terrifying. Why... I mean, that would imply that it was pushed through these. I mean, we even have it closed right now. But there's, there's fortifications right here. I had my eyes on it this whole time it was being worked on. gonna floor the rest of this off. I don't think I've had that happen before. I don't think I've ever had just surprise forgotten beasts in the fortress like that before. I didn't get any more death notifications past that first one. A person got a little grump here. <laughs> Quite the surprise. I know. I agree. Of all the people to get jumped on by a forgotten beast, a woodcutter isn't the worst. It is unfortunate, though. those diagonally? Fine. <laughs> Whatever. Not that we even need the second one, but whatever. Okay. 
And then in theory, that's all we need to make this work. What are you working on? Construct building. Okay, you'll get there. Hey, the dwarves are here. Cave one, I have fortifications, but this is a this is a drain. This is uh, water from our waterfall system can overflow and wash out of here, but nothing should be able to wash in a because there's no water unless I'm overflowing, and b because the water's going out. And then this is our beast way entrance, which is closed. And then our, you know, our person entry, which is closed and the door was locked. Cave two, this is the only thing happening, this door right here. There is water here, but we're not interacting with it in any way. And then the top of cave three is nothing. So many skeletons, uh, forgotten beasts. I just haven't been cleaning them out of the caves. Uh, and then the bottom of cave three is where we're doing our water trick. So it had to have been this one. But when would have he? When would that have happened? We've been sending dwarves here this whole time for for forgotten bees to to end up in here and then go all the way up into a fortress without encountering anyone between. That's what I don't get. There should have been enough activity going through here that the beast was would have been spotted before getting up into our actual fortress that's that's a hundred levels up there very strange very very strange uh diplomacy hooray sometimes the beast rolls straight 20s yeah i guess that's fair gosh hidden Hidden Forgotten Beast, that would be a real thing, wouldn't it? Like an ambusher beast? That'd be cool. I'd hate it. That'd be cool. Hopefully these, these floors will... prevent anything like that from happening in the future. Real Soulsborn is what it is? Yeah, no kidding. You're just walking through the fortress and suddenly something pops out? Okay, well, there's two out of three, one out of three. Okay, so they'll, they'll take a second to do all that, but that's fine. Meanwhile, Sodor has been stuck here for years. I've, I've even seen this one climbing on the walls. That's how it got here in the first place. It climbed into a little corner, and now it just, it can't get out. It just, it cannot get out of there. Whatever. Um. Cave in on it, we could. I, I mean, you'd have to like, you'd have to open the cave to, to do that, right? I'm just gonna leave it there. It's fine. I have plenty. Uh, you want to see my menagerie? Here's my menagerie. It's only killed a couple people. Uh, we have a... We have a giant hairy crab. This is a flying worm, right? Uh, hairy slug. Flying hairy slug. This one's a tapir. An enormous eyeless tapir. With large mandibles. And this one's a flame blob. This one is a blob composed of flame. Yeah. You could do a controlled cave in with a pillar and then seal it off. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm collecting some of them. The taper's pretty good. I like the flame blob. I also have a, a goblin down here. <laughs> my, my construction itself is not ideal. We have had a couple of escapees. And also not a lot of very, um... It hasn't done the thing that I want it to do, and also has done some bad things as well, so... These are mostly just forgotten beasts in a, in a pen. Ah, uh, the trap that works is this one. This one's very good. I'm very happy with this one. We'll see if we can get any goblins to try it out again. But these, it's just minecarts that go around in circles, and then you have to walk from one end to the other, and you get hit a bunch. And it works. It's killed a couple dwarves, even. Okay. Are you done? Are you getting there? Almost. I think I'll probably turn it on at this point. Let's do this. Let's let's open our let's open our thing. I think this is gonna work. Everyone cross your fingers. I think this is what we need for it to work. Uh, if the Forgotten Beast infiltrated from there, you'd think it would attack the machinery. That's true, right? If it's, it's a building destroyer. Yeah, it passed by all sorts of other more tempting targets. Okay, it's powered more frequently now. The other one will probably help smooth it out too. Yeah, there we go. Well, maybe. Mostly. That's fine. That's fine. That's enough. <laughs> That's all we needed to do. Uh, so our our rollers are getting intermittent power. So now we want to put magma back in our little trough. Hey, look, another one. This is Omli, a gigantic scaly ribbon worm. Ew. Thin wings of stretched skin, pearl scales, towards deadly blood. Do you want a flying ribbon worm? Uh, let's... Okay, first of all, let's, let's pull this like we said we would. Pull. And then... Where are you? You're in cave one. Name is Omli. I want to make sure that it's not going to sneak in somehow. Is there another beast in here right now? There was another beast in here. Somewhere. You can see a bunch of corpses in here. Like, even beast corpses. Most of these should be, like, rat folk. Oh, there's, uh, dralpas. Elk birds. Quite confused. Where are you going? I'm just patrolling. Okay. Worry about the missing rat folk corpses, Sotek has sent his teeth fairies to collect them. <laughs> Does Sotek have fairies that collect teeth or fairies that are made out of teeth? It doesn't seem to be able to get in. Oh, we didn't. We need to trade. Let's trade. And a bunch of instruments, perfect. Uh, so we can't train our figurines because our mayor is a jerk. <laughs> fine, 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 fine. <laughs> fine, whatever. Uh, I want to keep those two. Bye. 
both? That's that's a concerning answer. Put me seventeen hundred. We make a whole lot of crafts. Not a lot of good crafts. Just a lot of crafts. Like they're all masterwork, they're just only worth thirty or fifty. That's everything. Okay, so we have 3,000 to buy some instruments with. Not too bad. Some of them are quite expensive. Ah, wonderful. Okay, we have refloated our little pond here. Our things are still intermittently powered. Let's go back up to the top. There's still a thing of magma there. Very good. Uh, so we'll turn back on our departure condition and to push west always now let us see if we can successfully retrieve magma should probably turn on the alert again so we don't murder someone but I think we're fine I don't think there's anyone in here now well, there are still some rocks in there. They probably, we should forbid all the rocks that are in there. And turn into like a like a low traffic zone or something, just to make sure. So, in case you. Uh, in case you're, you're new and don't know what I'm up to, I am working on moving magma upstairs for magma forges. But I'm doing so without a pump stack. So I'm going to use a minecart. We're pushing the minecart down the tracks. And it's going to fill with magma at the bottom. And then if our, our newest stuff works, it's going to be able to get back out of the pool. Here it goes. Woo! Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So apparently the minecart is invisible when it's filled with magma, but here it is. It's it's on our track stop here. Perfect. So now someone is on their way to push the minecart back up, and it's gonna take them a whole minute, a whole long time to do it. So they're gonna push it back up to the top, and they're gonna toss into our little pit up there. And then repeat until we have a little pool of magma that we can build some shops on top of. That's the whole thing here. And it's gonna take. It's gonna take forever. Yay! But I think we're. I think it's working now. I really wish a minecart filled with magma was not just no sprite. I find that very strange. <laughs> it's not just. A normal minecart spray. Uh, but this all got made, right? So this... Nothing should be able to get through here, right? Because even building destroyers can't, like, attack above them. Pretty sure. You have to be on the same level as a building to destroy it. So there's nothing in here that they can destroy... ...to get further into our fortress. What are you doing? You're just... In the area. You grabbing the clothing? Okay. You left you left a, a worse one. Okay. That's fine. 
Oh, someone's got it. I feel like the minecarts of magma should be invisible at literally any other time. <laughs> Where's, where's our person? I wonder if I can catch up. There we are. Uh -huh. There we go. And yeah, that's gonna take a bit. Holy cow. But I think, I mean, if this works, then we could just have it on repeat. We can just ignore it until we have Magma. We, we know what this looks like. We can... Okay. So the other thing I should do is make sure that no one wants to come into our area here to grab a stupid rock. I'm going to forbid everything else in, in our passage here. Just for the sake of safety. Having fun in here? Yeah, <laughs> there he goes. I guess I can just go like this, right? all should be fine and then we're good I think we're good go back up to oh, moments has been re-elected surprise surprise here we go dump now there are three yay if they do it one more then it should not be in too much danger of evaporating we'll put it there and then push it and now it's going down to refill so that does take a bit for a full loop, but it'll happen. It will It will eventually happen. <laughs> we're gonna do one pool at a time, and then we're just gonna move our track around until all four of these are filled. And then we'll have a nice set of magma forges to work with. We've also filled our wood stockpile. I'm just tempted to come down here again. Um, then more stairwells everywhere. storage space. That's what we need, right? Um, and then we're going to do uh, two, yeah. okay. Okay, well. 
Yay, success! Uh, that's gonna take like a whole stream to finish, if not more. So, proof of concept, proof of proof of round one. Um, is it down here already? It's already down here, so now someone's coming to grab it again. Very good. Very, very good. And there is a fortification here. Um, I am gonna leave this open because we are pulling magma out of here, however, very slowly. I guess there's enough enough in here to fill one of our pools. Maybe I just maybe I just check it every once in a while. Now I'm all scared of leaving things open like that. Open. There's it's not open. But apparently, things can still get through. We have Hammerlords now, very cool. We get a notification about turning into a county every time the dwarves leave. Uh, hello, hello, hello! How's it going? Welcome to Face Earths. Uh, I'm gonna refill our waterfalls real quick here. That's a thing I do regularly. This is my fortress. It's glorious. How are you? They're gonna break to watch some dwarf fortin. Very good. Uh, so this is just I have a I have a closed looped uh, closed loop waterfall system that kind of rains water through all of our um, our central staircase system. So I'm just introducing some more water into our closed loop because it kind of evaporates every once in a while. Uh, not too much though. Modding is fun but tiring. That's fair. Are you doing mods for Dwarf Fortress? Because that's rad. Here's our, here's our, here's our dorks. We have a great hammer dwarf. We have a master hammer dwarf. We have an accomplished hammer dwarf. And of course, our legendary spear dwarf, legendary axe dwarf. Another forgotten beast. Forgotten beast Bora has come. A towering blob composed of steam, two narrow tails, and a bloated body. Ready made two actually cool. What, uh, what mods have you made? Um. I haven't done I haven't done any of the workshop mods. Oh, you you made your you screwed up your thing. <laughs> um, our beast, bloated beast made of bloated and made of steam. Yeah, it's in cave two. Oh, they're gonna fight. Fight. Creature packs named Lost in Wonderland and Mad Mo Man Made Monsters. Neat! That sounds cool. Added new monsters to your world. Very cool. I might have to check those out. I haven't done any of the workshop mods in, in on stream yet. Or I guess in I guess period. Uh, wow, that was a real two-hit fight, wasn't it? There's no force. Yeah. The Steam Beast could not, could do nothing. Could do nothing. Uh, the main project we're working on right this moment is this. Uh, we we just successfully did our first real trial run of transporting magma via minecart from way down, way, way down. Uh, it's like 150 levels to go from the magma to here. Um, and we and we're on a tiny embark. We're on a one by one. Uh, and I have a I have a handful of windmills, but we have a little brook that's frozen like seriously three quarters of the year, uh, and also not that much space to build on top of it. So instead of making a powered pump stack like we did in our previous fortress, we are doing a minecart, a manually powered minecart. Uh, Magma fill. See, look, yeah, cool. So now this should be safe from evaporating. And then they pushed it all the way back down. Cool. The system works. 
So that's gonna come all the way down to here. Fill with magma. And we have our silly submerge roller system to get it out of the magma. And then it gets pushed back up manually, all the way back up. Um, if you know about modding, maybe you can answer this question. But if I have, you know, a world that I'm invested in, that I want to keep streaming in, but I want to do mods, can I just... Like, if I just turn on a mod for an existing world gen, does that screw with things? Or do things just kind of get added in and it's fine? I assume it depends on the, the mod. A guild request. The Hall of Cresting. Uh, this is... This is a stoneworker guild. Location must be built and furnished. Yeah, of course. Of course. We have locations for all of our guilds. Uh, down, down here. I wonder if they can... See if they can actually do that. Um, here. Here's our guild halls. So we're a stoneworker. Metalsmith, jeweler, engineer, miner, craft store, stoneworker. Down by the river. <laughs> uh... Granite oil. That's a good name. So agreed to build. So we just need to we just need to engrave this. That's all. That's all we gotta do. Bet you. Let's do that. That should be able to add a thousand value to that room. That should be fine, right? Unfortunately, that does not work. You have to build an entire new world with the mods incorporated in. That's kind of what I figured. That's why I haven't been messing with it. Because I'm kind of keeping a... I'm doing my best to keep a consistent world through through a stream. Um, and so far, we've been doing very well. This is... Uh, I mean, we started this world at year 101. But we've we spent 40 42 43 years in this world so far on stream every single every single vod is on youtube if you want to go check it out but the entire history of this world is, is recorded um and i i like that i like i like keeping that consistency um this is our second fortress in this world we had another we still have another fortress over in uh not too far from here um we are we are up here in face earths and then our, our capital, Elder Ring, is down here. So we were playing down here. We have like like 40 episodes of stream in Elder Ring. Uh, and then we retired the fortress and then we made a new one up here. And we've been up here. And we've been, uh, you know, seeing some interaction between Elder Ring and us and our, our civilization. And, uh, I we could probably have new rumors to see even. Um, reports. News and rumors, that's what it is. Um, yeah, so our, our our capital keeps sending out raids. Because look at all these goblins. We have so many goblins. Is it here? Yeah. Uh, early spring of 143, the army of Tobol Granite Slid marched on witch, witch dishes. So yeah, our, our capital is just sending out uh, sending out raids to attack the goblins. While we're up here, uh, filling with magma. So, I like that. I like, and so that's kind of why I haven't been messing with mods, is because uh, I don't want to... I don't want to lose that. Um, I'm really excited for when Adventure Mode comes back, and we'll we'll still have this world, and we'll, we'll, do an, we'll do an adventure in this world, and we'll go visit our fortresses. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, but at some point, I mean, I don't know, I haven't really talked about this on stream, uh, but if you if you know Dwarf Fortress, then you know. Someday we are probably going to get a very significant update, right? We're going to get some update that changes the game enough that uh, old, say, old worlds won't be compatible anymore. Um, who knows when that's going to actually happen, because we're just, we're expecting uh, Adventure Mode to come back in the next month or two maybe hard to say uh but then in theory they're going to start work on the next feature release and then whenever that happens 
that may or may not uh, break our save. Uh, like, we would still be able to play in this version, but th we wouldn't be able to play this fortress in, or play this world even, in a new, in the new patch, whenever that, whenever the patch gets significant enough. Uh, our, our beasts are fighting. Oh, that's just the old one. Okay. Um, and then at that point, we will, you know, if we want to move on to the new version, we'll have to make a new world. And we can turn on all sorts of mods. So that'll probably be... That'll probably be what happens. Um, and we're, we're engraving our holding fortress now. I want to see this happen once more. Anyone? Do you... Pushing vehicle? Oh, we have two push vehicles, even. One of them's going to be... You're, you're even almost back. Perfect. Because um, we also have other minecarts going for for our trash. Our kitchen and our surface have have minecarts that go down to our incinerator. And that's been very good. There we go. Blap. Perfect. Phew. And we don't even need to fill this all the way. If we got this to, like, depth four in every tile, that's all you need for your forges. So I'm probably not even going to go fully to, like, to depth seven. I'll give us some wiggle room for, you know, not not splashing magma everywhere. That'd be kind of bad. But yeah, um, okay, so we I have succeeded in what I aim to do <laughs> today. Um, which is weird. We have we have our magma fill station. We have our 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 power our power station here. This is this is going. You know, it's a little a little fiddly, but it's 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 working. It's doing what it needs to do. Also draining our frames a little bit, but you know that's how that goes. We've been sitting at 50 frames very consistently for most of this fortress, but then I recently doubled our population cap, and things have gone down a little bit. But that being said, we are doing very good. All our this this L shape here. This is our our finished good stockpile. It's ridiculous. We have so much. Oh, and gems. We should use our gems. We should actually cut our gems, shouldn't we? Can I just say... Cut gems on repeat? Why not? I'll give someone something to do. I could even... Uh, is that a thing I can do in here? I make a new work detail. Farming, fishing, metalsmithing. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah. And then we'll just name this Jewelers. And we have, wow, our manager is a master gem cutter. Wow, oh, cool. So let's give, you know, two or three. Dabbling, you can all you you, you stay away. <laughs> uh, but we'll give we'll and your talented gem setter even okay. Or do I let everyone do this until they have made a guild for themselves? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because I feel like a couple more, and they could make a guild. So I'll just, I'll leave it, I'll leave it open. I'll let them do whatever they want. I'll just cut all the gems. Uh, and I think I'm gonna leave it there. Yeah, I think that's a good, good stopping point. I've done what I claimed I wanted to do. 
and it worked. And the only people who died were for really unforeseen and confusing reasons. <laughs> we only lost one person today. I really don't know what happened there. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to pay attention in the VOD and see what actually happened there. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is kind of what we do. Uh, we chill and we play Dwarf Fortress and we hang out, and that's and that's and that's what we do. Uh, so if you want more of that, then come by again. I will be here on Thursday playing more Dwarf Fortress, and I will be here on Saturday, and we're gonna keep working through uh, our other not chill game, Aliens Dark Descent, currently. Uh, that's been great fun. I, we're getting towards the the climactic sequence, pretty sure. We're 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 our next mission is to the fancy place, the Pharaoh Spire, Pharaoh Spire, um, where where our boss is. Um, not not the game, not the boss, like game boss, but like our employer, <laughs> which may be the same thing. Hard to say. Getting weird. Uh, but come by if you want to see that, or come by next Monday if you want to see more Dwarf Fortress. Or Thursday for Door Fortress, or the YouTube for Mordor Fortress, or, you know, other people. But I, you know, I think we're the chill ones. Uh, yeah. So, as as usual, as I'm making usual, our, our streaming today has been brought to you without sponsorships and ads and all that silly stuff. Thanks to the sun. Thank you, sun. The sun is great. Um, and you. And, and clicking the buttons. It's brought to you by button clicking. Uh, so uh, do, do the follows, the subscribes, the whatever. Join the Discord. Click. You can click all sorts of buttons in the Discord. Got all sorts of goodies in the Discord. You can see what I'm working on off stream. This was my last project. Do you like that? I'm doing more stuff like that. Uh, completely different, but kind of the same. So, And you can see what I'm working on. So, I will see you uh, on Thursday. Have a good rest of your week, and don't forget to stay kind. <laughs>